At the south entrance to the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery stands the Old Dutch Church and surrounding graveyard. America's first internationally recognized author, Washington Irving, is buried here. In fact, the church and the bridge leading to it figure prominently in the heart-pounding finale to Irving's most famous legend, that of a hapless schoolteacher trying to escape a headless horseman. If Ichabod Crane could gallop his old steed across the bridge to the hallowed church grounds, he would be safe. The story was written in the early 1800s, but the real-life people buried in the cemetery include veterans as far back as the Revolutionary War. There are Civil War soldiers buried here, too. Even a former slave. Creative statuary and impressive mausoleums, some quite elaborate, cover the many hills. An adventure in imagination and craftsmanship await at every turn. Perhaps what also makes this cemetery unique is the number of multimillionaires and billionaires who found final repose here. That's auto pioneer Walter Chrysler in his miniature Lincoln Memorial style mausoleum. And Manhattan's former real estate queen, Leona Helmsley, is laid to rest behind the stained glass depiction of the New York skyline she helped shape. Cosmetics and Elizabeth Arden are practically synonymous, but this rustic structure outside the cemetery fence seems an unfitting beauty mark to the empire that she built. Industrialist Andrew Carnegie and his wife Louise lay beneath a very simple Celtic cross. And William Rockefeller, from that most famous of New York families, has a three-story mausoleum on the highest hill. Encouraging is the inscription from St. Augustine over the entrance, Thou hast made us for thyself, and our heart shall never be at rest until at last it rests in thee. Even in a cemetery, you can find words to live by.